Okay. You don't get one at the end. Um, that's right. <laughs> so what we have here, guys, is question number nine. On question number nine, what we had to do is make sure that we could um, use our distributed property. So remember, when we have a number outside of parentheses, we have our um, we have multiplication. So and actually, yeah, let's do it right. So we need to make sure we multiply our four times eight and our four times a negative two. Four times eight equals 32, and four times negative two gives you a negative eight, B. Then, outside of here, is just gonna be a negative two B. Now, remember, this is not being, this negative two is not being multiplied by four. The four only multiplies to the numbers that are inside the parentheses. All right, Dylan, could you move over there, please? So now what we have is we have 32 minus 8b minus 2b is less than or equal to 32. Doesn't that seem over Thanks. Um, so now, if you guys look at this, remember we always want to solve for 1b. So if I have two of them, I either need to combine them somehow, right? So we can say negative 8b minus 2b. Well, negative 8 minus 2 is going to be a negative 10b. So that 32 minus 10b is less than or equal to 32. Alright? Now, here's one of my favorite mistakes that students make. So now we look at B and we say, well, we need to undo what's happening to our variable, right? Ms. McLogan always says undo addition and subtraction first and then undo in multiplication division. So you say, well, what is the 32 doing? We say, oh, it's subtraction. Well, why is it subtracting? Well, because there's a subtraction sign. Remember, the operation that a number is doing determine is the going to be the sign in front of the number, not behind it. So 32 is adding to my variable b. Why is it adding to variable b? Because this is a positive 32. So to get rid of a positive 32, I need to subtract a 32. So what happens when I do that, that cancels out. And actually this one cancels out. So I'm left with a negative 10b is less than or equal to zero. So now a lot of us are like, oh, well, it's equal zero, something's wrong, or blah, blah, blah. Check your work, oh, okay, it still works. Well, now to get to solve for B, we need to divide by negative 10. And remember, since we're divided by a negative number, we flip the sign. Any number, um, any number divided by, or sorry, Zero divided by any number is going to equal zero. So B is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, make sense? Any questions? No? Good? Awesome.